there, lovey doveys. May the 4th be with you. Okay, so today we're going to talk about interruptions. Y'all been interrupted in this time at your home, working at home, and those kiddos come in? Those kids, right? They're always coming and needing something, aren't they? Always. So today I'm going to give you some tips to how to handle those interruptions. So when I was planning this little lesson to share with you guys, I wanted a, a picture to put on like the, the screenshot of the video. So I started giving my, like I would put in my mindset, like, you know, do my hand, my selfie, and I would visualize my kids coming and interrupting me. And I made the faces like, what? Like, okay, so the kids coming in, I'm like, and I was taking pictures of them. I'm going to show you on this video. And I, I was like, that's what my kids are seeing. My kids are seeing my face like that. Like, my feelings, oh, my face filter is broken. I, so I wear my feelings on my face. And my feelings were protruding like out to them. I wondered how that made them feel. And as I was taking more and more selfies and making these faces and... <clears throat> Like my mood was changing and I was like, ugh, I'm feeling in a bad mood just because of what my face was doing. Like my mind got blown and I was like, you know what? You know what? Okay. I, I preach this smile, smile, smile all the time. So I'm going to take some selfies of me smiling and it, oh, it uplifted me. I was like, woo, I don't, you know, I, I don't want to be down in dumps and ugly and mad and mm. It made my, my body feel ugly when I was making ugly faces. I'm going to recommend you guys give that a try. Like, we take selfies, right? It's fun. So take a selfie of your face when you're frustrated at your kid, okay? Does your face look like this? That's what your kid sees when they're coming to you and they need help. That was really, like, eye-opening to me. I'm going to try really hard this week. Like, that's my goal is to... Mind my face. Like, figure out what my face is doing to my kids. Oh. All right, so school's winding down. You may not have those packets of work for your kiddos to do and sit and keep them busy for a little bit. So they may be coming to you to look for stuff to do, right? I get that all the time. There's nothing to do. I'm bored. Can you help me find something to do? Ugh. Right? Okay, so... I don't know about you, but I still have work to do. Down here in my office space, I got stuff to do. I may be on a computer, I may be on a Zoom call, I may be on a like a telephone call, like, you know, those old timey things, you like actually have to talk to someone. So you may need to have something ready for your kids to do when they come and ask you. I don't have anything to do. What are gonna do? I'm bored. Okay, so let's think smarter and, and be prepared for those situations. So what I've done is I've made some little busy baskets, okay? You can call them whatever you want. You can have it in a folder. You can have whatever it is that your kid is into. Let's put it all in one place, like that same place. It's always going to live there. So your kids know exactly where to find it. You can just tell them, hey, go get you a busy basket. Mama needs a minute. And you just, I just need a minute, right? So you're allowed to say that. You're allowed to say, I just need a minute. All right, so your busy baskets, they're going to have stuff in it to keep their kids busy. So in here... And this one I have like a little hangman game, a um, little card game, and spot it. Now this may be something that I got two kiddos. Maybe they can play this together, but, you know, sometimes when they play together, then they need mama to referee, and like, I'm not, I'm trying to predict problems that are going to come up, so I'm trying to, like, be thoughtful of what you put in your busy baskets, okay? So there's one option. Um, in this one, we've got a coloring book and a little puzzle. Um, so you may want some busy baskets that are quiet. And they put like a little picture of like a shh. And, and this is a quiet busy basket if I'm on like a telephone call. So make sure you have every, like make sure, I don't have crayons in here. I, have, I just was kind of pulling things. You don't want to have a busy basket without crayons because then they're going to come to you and say, I need crayons. Where are the crayons? You know when to put the right there. Okay. So make sure you have everything accounted for in your busy basket and this one is just a little lego kit and it's got the little book in it make sure it's got everything that they could need in their busy basket okay so you've got your busy baskets ready go through and find some things that they like here's another thing that i'm going to recommend these baskets are not just out all the time for them to be able to choose because even like in the classroom you could have so many toys all on every shelf and the kids be like there's nothing to do too much 
is, is not a good thing. Sometimes less is more. When you have all this plethora of things to do, they just don't even see it, but you bring one new thing out, well, they will find it, right? Isn't that crazy how they find that one new thing? They will they get it. That's their, like, woohoo, so excited. So these baskets are not for any time during the day. It's just when mama needs a minute, okay? Whether it's, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom by myself. You're allowed to go to the bathroom by yourself. If they come and knock it on that door, busy basket, find yourself a busy basket, right? And it kind of flows, it's kind of fun, right? All right, so you've got your busy baskets ready. Another thing I need you to know, when you're in the middle, I'm typing on my computer, I'm on a Zoom call, and that kid comes to me, okay? It's a mind thing, it's a mind thing, okay? I can either view it as, oh, that kid is disrupting me again, or I can view it as, they need help, okay? They're, there's something going on and they need me, okay? Doesn't that feel good to kind of be needed a little bit? Like, do you want your kids to be self-sufficient? Yes, eventually, but right now, I do want them to need me, right? Okay, so mindset. It's not a disruption. They're not doing it to you. They just have a need and they you're their parent. <laughs> like, you have to help them, okay? All right, so have that mindset of, I'm just going to give them help. I'm going to provide something that they can do. Okay, so don't don't take it personally. Remember that Q-tip, quit taking it personally. It's not to you. They just need help, all right? So I hope this was helpful for you today. I'm going to challenge you. Next time you're in the heat of the moment, think about your face. What is your face showing your kiddos, okay? This has been a huge eye-opener to me. I hope it makes a difference for you. If it does, share this video for someone else to, to make a difference in their life too, okay? Love you. Hope you have a great day.